It is another day one, isn't it? I wonder when you listen to these morning messages. You may not listen to them in the morning. I record them in the morning, I'll tell you, because that's when I am my most in my most clear state. And that's what we talked about yesterday, clarity. In the mornings is when I feel like I'm most available for new insight, new information from outside and inside. Because, my friend, you are one hell of a brilliant being. And you have intelligence, wisdom, intuition, impulse running through your being 24-7. What happens when we are not available? We shut down to our own intelligence and our own potential. We also shut down to hearing it from the outside world. So today I want to talk to you about availability, being available, being open and available for what is emerging, what is staring you in the face, what is at the tip of your nose, what is hidden in plain sight. I don't know what's getting ready to emerge for you. I don't even know what's getting ready to emerge for me. But what I do know and what I have experienced in my own life is when I am shut down and closed off from the world and from myself, I can't hear. I can't sense the brilliance, the creative impulse, the nudge, the knock on the door, I can't. I'm shut off from the world, from myself. So how do we become more available? Well, good question, Kara. (laughs) I ask myself that all the time. How am I closing down? Can I open myself up to really, really hearing today? To really seeing and sensing into. We can viscerally feel when we're closed down and shut off. We feel it. We feel small. I feel small. I start to judge myself and others. I start to compare. I start to doubt. You know, all that like yucky, yucky stuff. I start to play small. I hold back what I need to say, the truth. I may speak in in smaller ways, you know. I may find myself saying the wrong thing or judging someone else publicly. Ugh, yuck. But on the flip side, when I'm available, when I'm open, when I don't have an agenda, now I'm hearing. I'm hearing it all. I'm hearing my wisdom. I'm hearing my direction, that inner guidance, that brilliance, the source energy running through me. I sense it in others. I hear others' advice. You know, sometimes other people, they are ready to just drop it for you. The exact thing that you need to do. But if you're closed off, you won't hear it. You know, it's interesting because in my business right now, I'm talking to a lot of people. As I reach out into the world, it's been really uncomfortable, honestly, to reach out and start talking to people about mental wellness, their mental health, my mental health, how we're changing the world by, uh, by, by, by looking at our gut health. This is my business of mental wellness right now. And, um, Sometimes I don't sense into when people are ready to hear it. I I can't always tell. Like, we don't always know. We don't always know. But all we can do is be open and available to talking to people. They may not be ready. It's okay. I might not have been ready a couple years ago to hear hear about this mental wellness, um, the the new science of the gut-brain connection. That's okay. But I can't hold back anymore, and you shouldn't hold back either. So the whole point of today's message is just to look at your availability, because somebody may come to you with extraordinary 
direction, opportunity, possibility. You may sense something inside that is loud and clear what you need to do next, where you should be looking next, what website you should go to next. Being available, not being shut down. And so the first the first way to start to really get to know yourself is just to notice what it feels like to shut down and what it know what it feels like to be open and available. This is how we continue to get to know ourselves. This is it. This is the journey to waking up. So thanks for joining me. I hope I was clear. I hope I was uh, concise. It's tough, man. Six minutes or less. I'm I'm failing. I've been failing in the last few days. (laughs) All right. Check out the notes because it has information on what I'm doing in mental wellness if you're interested, if you heard that. It has the free new webinar series I'm doing on becoming mentally fit. It has ways to connect with me. I'd love to hear from you. Take care. Be well.